Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Coming in with the finale of Greenleaf, y'all, look. Yeah. Ooh, we've had day one, day two, day... Now we have Behold. Behold. And I looked at my husband, I said, uh-huh, Behold, we do a new thing. Right. And God darn it, if that wasn't what this episode was all about. Yes. But before we get into the episode, we want to thank you all. Y'all come back every week. Y'all yeah. support us on the lives. Y'all support us on the channel in general. But more importantly, you get down in those comments and you have a great banter yeah. with not just us, but the other commenters in the um, comment section. So we want to thank y'all. We want to let you all know that we appreciate y'all more than Indeed. you would ever, ever know. Yes. So do us a favor. If you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is on because that'll let you know when we come back with something new, fresh. We don't know what we do from week to week, so we may pick up a show here and there. So if you got your bell notification on, you'll be the first to be alerted of that. Exactly. So let's go ahead and get and into... And before you get into that, I want to thank everybody for all the yeah. birthday wishes, the happy birthdays, the blessings, the the cash that y'all bless a brother with. I appreciate it, man. I love y'all, man. For all the support I got on my birthday. Yeah. And if you want to check out his birthday vlog, I took him away for his birthday. Yes. Make sure you go over to Life With Us TV. That video was posted on yesterday. Yep. So and go ahead. In the description. Yeah. So show that video some love. So listen. Now, the handwriting has been on the wall the entire season for me. What was about to happen, right? right. But I'm sitting here still trying to be that person with just a mustard seed yes. of faith. That Bishop was going to just have his stroke, go off to the hospital, come back, go through some rehabilitation. Right. And that will be the newness that we will be experiencing. We'll have a brand new Bishop with a new appreciation for life, blah, 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 not taking his health for granted. Okay. But the Lord didn't see fit. The Lord didn't see fit at all. Oh. So we started off the episode where we see him laying in the bed and... May is like she's settled in knowing that he is gone. Yeah. She takes out her ring out the box, puts it on her finger. And I'm still confused at this moment. I'm like, is he really dead or right? are we fast forwarded where he's gone to the hospital, came back and he just laying across the bed, getting him some rest. Like what's really, no, he was resting in the arms of the Lord. Right. And then I got confused because I said, why isn't the house in an uproar? Yeah, it's like, like it's so quiet in there for the bishop to be dead. I said, the, did the ambulance ever come? Like, And I know this because Gigi is downstairs normal. Yeah. Like having a full-on conversation about a possible job offer from this lady named Ann from 2020 where she has to go out to New York to interview for this job. So I'm yeah. like, she couldn't possibly know, she know that her dad is upstairs dead. Right. So then we see Lady May come sashaying downstairs and her walk and her demeanor said that I'm about to tell you some skit that's going to buck you up right now. Yeah. So the next thing we saw, we saw all of the children and the family gathered around the bed and they are loving on Bishop's body. And I lost it yeah i was fit to be freaking done everybody knows about that ah. moment. whether it's at the house or at the hospital of that them last moments before before they're uh, rough yeah before the uh, funeral home come to pick up the body man and that's even worse when you have yeah. to see them bag the body oh mm. uh -huh. hard to handle Woo. man so yeah all of this is going on, and then we immediately go into Bishop's funeral, which seems to be what they said on the live, a COVID-19 exactly funeral what it was. with social distancing, and they buried him on the property, you know, right along with Faith. So, mm -hmm. of course, that 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 spot is dedicated for the Greenleaf family. Right. Um, we can only amuse our imagination that there was something given for the church members because, like I told him on the live, there ain't no way in hell that a black bishop passes away. Yeah, and no and, and yeah. them church members don't get to say their final goodbyes. And right. Even right. if they had to get on Zoom and fill up a hundred boxes. Right. <laughs> somebody Oh, was, they gonna see their bishop off the glory. Hello. Now. Huh? Hello. Say somebody better log in under the bishop's account on Zoom huh. or something. So yeah, so y'all messed that part up because that ain't realistic right there. And it wasn't realistic at that um at that grave when that body started being lowered down. Yeah. Because we lose it at that point. 
Uh, that's why. That's well, we know in Virginia. Well, where we where, where we're from, that they don't even lower the casket down in the ground no more Not until running. the family is gone. Cause. Because, yeah, because black people like to jump in there with them. Yeah. Now, if you go further up north, they have to. Yeah, they have to. Because they yeah. have to cover the body before you leave the grounds. Yeah. Because people like to go and rob the bodies. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand how you got the nerf nerve to steal something off a dead body, but. Use a hey, raggedy. more power to you, bro. Use a raggedy <laughs> so-and-so. So we're back at the house, and they're eating together, and everybody's kind of just in their mode of. Let's reflect on Bishop. And you have AJ over there. He was like, how can I miss somebody so much that I barely Even. knew? Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm promising. He said, ain't nobody ever talked to me like that man talked to me. And I'm going to build that car. I don't care if it takes year. me a year. And I said, okay, AJ. So... I'm sitting here like, okay, where does we where do we go from here, right? Right. Because if you all remember, before all of this skit went down with Coochie Cross and all of them, and they finding out that the house really does belong in their bloodline, y'all do remember that Bishop and May ain't married. That's right. So if Bishop's name is the name on the house, now we don't know how the house is titled, but the house was left to him. Mm-hmm. Let's just hope that both of their name was on the deed at least um, now. But I was like, if her name wasn't on the deed, like what happens to this house? Where does it go? Well, do it get passed down to? It, yeah. So, long story short, May sent um, Jacob over there to Tara to ask her, you know, Maybe like a three month extension. Give us 90 days. Because there's a lot that's going on right now. Right. So we can't be out in the cold and right. morning at the same time. And Tara, to my surprise. Right. She really is who she says she is. And so she was like, you know what? I, I got what I needed to get. That house belongs to y'all. Y'all are going through a lot. Mm -hmm. Tell your mama that the score is settled. And I'm like, wow. When she's free, she can give me a call. We don't want the house. So Jacob was like, but didn't God promise you, you yeah. that house? And she said, well, maybe God's just going to give it to me in another, another way. way. But yeah. I don't I don't want that house. And, and I said, whoa. But then they started vibing. Mm -hmm. I said. They started looking at her in a different way. I said, okay. And I could actually see that too. But here's the thing. Didn't Jacob already offer the D? To old Keisha Cole Skanks first. Right. So then you're going to mess around with the sister a lot. Jacob, I, we trying to rock with you. We trying, hey, we trying hey, to work hey, with you. Hey, look. I'm not going to say if he's right or wrong. But when you do something like that for somebody like that. Stop it. It, yeah. I'm going to say it just, it just make things start working. Goodbye. For so, good. <laughs> <laughs> so in the midst of the dinner, right. Misty calls over there to the house to talk to Lady May. And she pretty much asks Lady May, listen, next Sunday, we don't have anybody to speak. Can you come through and speak um, on your husband and all that good stuff for the next Sunday service? And I was like, okay. That was a little bit soon. But of yeah, course, yeah. you know she was going to say yes oh, to yeah, that. She, oh, yeah. She always stay on ready to preach. Yeah. Even though she couldn't find a scripture. Mm, hello. <laughs> so... This entire time, we see that Gigi is conflicted, right? She doesn't know what to do. Her daddy just died. She has this great opportunity to do what it is that she loves. Right. But her family needs her. Her son <coughs> is finally coming around. I mean, what do you do? Yeah. What do you do in a situation do like this? Do you stay or do you go? I, uh, it, it was, yeah, it was a lot. So, May... Ends up going over there to Calvary and Corinne takes her into Bishop's office. And I said, he ain't even been dead too long. And the office just felt cold, cold yeah. and dark. And, and it's like that. Like if you ever lose someone close to you and you like go to their house or something mm -hmm. like that, everything just feels so stale. Like right. the spirit the is gone. just gone. Yeah, the energy Nothing gone. Yeah. physically changed. No. Nope. But their energy just made everything just die. And right. I said, look at this office. Like, it just looks so dead. Right. And she's sitting in there having her moment in the office. And I was like, Corinne, come in there and check on her in about 15 minutes. Yeah, don't leave that long for by herself. No, yeah. man, you still got to keep an eye on people like that. That's right. So, um, 
can I try to fast forward? Because I don't want to go through all of it. Because really, after they buried Bishop, it just seemed to be going a, re a whole lot slow for me. Yeah. Too slow. Cause, I mean, because that was the, the the main reason why we even came back to see if Bishop was even dead. and Yeah. And the closeout. So, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know what big boom they could even possibly come up with. Other after than, that. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, May, go right on to it. May preached the service, right? She went to the church and there was nothing left to preach, but behold, I do a new, a new thing. thing. And yes. she was talking to James and she was saying, she was telling the Lord, you know, make me new, make my spirit new, do something new in me, do something new in his church. church. Just make everything new. Like right. this is an end to an era. So let's just go ahead and go into this next phase of our lives. Just being open to what you want to do with us and through us. And we look out in that congregation and AJ is He's over balling. there. Yeah. When that thug tear came out of his <laughs> eyes. Now, mind you, AJ and um, Noah don't got them a house. Right. They get ready to start living pretty well. And his um, his blood um, counts are up and everything just seems to be falling in place. So there's nothing left for AJ to do. But, but to give his life, life to, to the Lord, Lord at this yeah. point. Because everything is just going so well. Right. And we see Gigi, she writes over her her money and puts them in two trust funds, divided equally between AJ and Sophia. So we know that some things are about to close out here. So we see AJ. And Lady May gives an altar call about, do you want to become new? new. And when Man, they was coming before she even gave the altar to come. That's how you know it's a real altar call. Yep, they was coming before she said anything. And he rolled up there and the family gathered around him mm -hmm. and he was crying. I was crying. And then when Lady May looked over and realized that AJ was giving his life to the Lord, she mm -hmm. lost it. Uh -huh. And I said, if you don't take off running around <laughs> this church, huh? I said, where's the organ when but you I, need one? But I said, man, I said, I wish the bishop was here to see that. Because bishop was trying his best to get him saved. Before but he, he crossed did it. The, he did it. But he sowed the seed. He did. Yeah, he sowed the seed. Like I said last week, he knew yeah. that he was getting ready yeah, to transition. Job. Yeah. So that's why he went hard on AJ like that. Now, and I absolutely hate when somebody imposes something like that yeah. on somebody. But in this case, Bishop, it I worked. forgive yeah, you. Yeah, and it worked. I forgive you. Yeah. So, yeah, AJ gave himself to the Lord, y'all. So, we don't know where that's going to take us into this new, new phase thing, yeah. or this new um, show idea to spin off. And um, back at the house. But did we even get to the house yet? No, we got to the office. Like, Lady May is sitting in Bishop's office. And Gigi comes back yeah. there. And Lady May says, you have something to tell me, don't you? Because earlier, Gigi had a conversation with Aaron. And I just love their relationship. Yeah. And... You would have thought that they had been flowing together like brothers and sisters years. for years the way they connected. So, <clears throat> she was like, how do you reconcile with being who everyone else wants you to be and being what everybody else needs you to be and doing what you want, want to, to do. Yeah, exactly. And he said, pretty much it's like my life. I tried to be straight for years, mm -hmm. but at some point you just going to have to be, be yourself. yourself right? and do what it is that yeah, makes you That was a powerful message happy. right there. And he said, this ain't like my sister making decisions like this. I said, <laughs> okay. So... She went in the office and she told Gigi. I mean, she told her um, Lady May, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta. I got. And she was like, No, 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 no. no. It's when, not when, time. Yeah, it's we not need time. you. We need you. But every time that Gigi like, no. was getting ready to go, always something happened to prevent her from going. And she's it's like, it. Not this time. Not this time. I'm going. So over at the house, you see everyone standing on that step, because you know when they stand on that step together, yeah, some skit about to happen, right? And they're seeing Gigi off and they're wishing her well. And they're telling her that they expect great things from her and all of this. And I said, Gigi really go late. Yeah, she Oh go. no. But she left Sophia under Charity's care. I said, Charity don't take care of her own child. <laughs> right. How she gonna take care of yours? 
I said Marisol takes care of hers. Right. Gigi, bad call, bad parenting. <laughs> we'll call CPS on all of y'all. So we see Gigi get into the car, right? And, and I was like, well, where's AJ? Like AJ didn't come to see her off. I just thought that was odd. Yeah. And the driver in the car said something to her that made the show a full, full circle, circle moment. Y'all remember when Gigi came to the uh, Brown Liquor Estates, she was in the car and the driver looked in the rearview mirror and he was like, you're Pastor Greenleaf. Mm -hmm. And she said, no, I'm Grace Greenleaf. The driver this time looked at her and he said, you're Pastor Mr. Greenleaf. Greenleaf. She said, no, sister. sister or Grace Greenleaf. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, that's who I used to be. And he was like, right on. Wow. And they, re they rode through the gates. Say what a way! I, I like how they ended it like that. Though. And the gates closed. I said, if that wasn't some brilliant writing right yeah. there, like you literally brought her around full circle. But this is what I was telling my husband. I was like, I was battling with it because, although we all know that Gigi's time is up for being at the complex and bailing everybody out and. It just seems like horrible time and your dad just died. Your mom needs you. Your son is just coming around and he's just becoming open to you and all things life. Right. And you're leaving again. It just seems so untimely, but such is life. Sometimes yeah, you, you just, just got to. You got to make the hard decisions when it's put hard to make them. Put yourself first. Yeah, you have to. Because she, because when you don't, you don't have nothing to give you're nobody miserable. else. I think Gigi at the point where she don't have nothing else to give. I mean, look at what she went through with freaking Bob Whitmore to expose that skit to save Calvary. I'm like, she saved the church. Let her go. She had to kill her uncle yeah. to fight for her sister's legacy. Right. It's a lot. Gigi she has been through, through a lot since so she's been there, y'all. Yep. She has been through a lot. But y'all, this is the end of this, Greenleaf, y'all. Yeah. yeah, man. And then we I found don't know out how I feel about that it. freaking Queen Sugar don't come back on to 2021. Come on. Just COVID, just just Yeah. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty South. Two up. Two down. Holla! Holla.